Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. And it's an important one as we have a full moon in mystical, magical Pisces. On top of that, we have a grand earth trine, which is bursting with potential. Here's your weekly astrology. Taurus, my darling, this is a week and a half for you. This should be a week when you really feel the positive intensity of Uranus being in your sign. Don't forget Uranus is the planet of the unpredictable, of surprises. And uh, you don't necessarily love surprises, but guess what? I think Uranus is going to teach you how to learn to love surprises, starting with this week. On the 25th, the sun is trying Uranus. Uh, oh, the sun's also entering Virgo, bringing you much joy and openness and creativity and, and feeling confident and drawing soulmates to you and soul experiences. So that's good news. And then also the sun is trying Saturn uh, and making you feel free to have adventures and to open up, stretch yourself and have a thirst for knowledge. The full moon is in making you feel quite social, actually, and it's making you reflect on your social life. It may be that you've come full circle in your social life or you're heading for a peak experience when it comes to you mixing with groups of people. It could even be about something, for instance, if you've got a project where you're launching a website, um, you're able to do that this week on the 26th, feeling much more open and much happier and uh, feeling excited about it. And you could reach people you, that you didn't expect to reach. So it's very good for connection, connection to the whole, manifesting your desires and having surprising creative ideas and surprising connections to other people. And you feeling as if like very fulfilled as well. Anything that's been holding you back, you'll get an intuitive insight into. Now, whichever way you look at it, it is a full moon in Pisces. So wherever it lays, it is very emotional. It brings up an emotional experience. It brings up a psychic experience. It's a, it's a magical moon that brings all sorts of strange synchronicities, mystery and magic. But for you, there's lots of intimate and unusual opportunities this week where you meet people that you connect with on an emotional level, where you feel free to be yourself, where you may surprise yourself in your ability to create or connect or to bond. But all in all, <laughs> I think you're going to find this a, a very extraordinary week filled with opportunity. But it's about you allowing that energy to flow through and to trust yourself, trust your creative self. On the 26th, the same day as the full moon, Venus is square Pluto, which makes a lot of intensity because it's uh, very extreme reactions. Um, and it's very important that on that day, the day of the full moon, that you don't get stuck into an idea of how things should be, how things should be um, in any way, shape or form. Let that go on that day and enjoy the surprises, the opportunity and the expectation of um, the cosmos. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.